Delhi is going through the worst time of the year when it comes to air pollution. As of shooting this video right now, the air quality index in London is somewhere around 5 and in New Delhi, it's more than 300. So it's a big problem, but what can you do about this? Well, I bought this next gen Mi air purifier from Xiaomi. And the first question that came into my mind before buying this was, does this thing actually works? Well, a good way to check that will be if the outdoor rating on this Mi air purifier matches the data we have on the internet, then it's safe to assume that at least the sensor on this is working fine. So let's take it outdoors. As you can see, it's 359 units on the website. And if I turn on the Mi Air Purifier, it detects 378, which is pretty close, I would say. So yeah, it does work, but don't use it outdoors. On a serious note, it's hard to feel the difference between polluted and clean air in day-to-day -day life, but that doesn't mean you're breathing clean air. So I have been using this air purifier for about a month now and can't really wait to share my experience. But before you buy this 2S purifier or any other purifier, there are three things that you need to keep in mind. First, make sure your air purifier has HEPA filter, which is designed to reduce the PM2.5 pollutants. At 2.5 microns, these pollutants are 40 times smaller than a human hair. Second, also note the CADR value or clean air delivery rate of your air purifier, which basically means how much clean air your purifier can pump out in one hour. And finally, this is the most important for me, the noise levels. But why are these three factors more important than others? Well, let's talk about them in detail using this 2S purifier. Starting with the HEPA filter, which stands for High Efficiency Particulate Absorber. Now, in a typical air purifier, there are three types of filters to target different sizes of pollutants. There is a pre-filter to target the large dust particles like hair, pollen, soil, etc. And then there is an activated carbon filter to remove odor and toxic gases. But in order to remove the PM2.5 pollutants, a third filter is used, which is called HEPA filter. While purchasing the Mi Air 2S, we were surprised to not find any mention of HEPA filter in the product description, unlike other purifiers who mention it in the very beginning. Thankfully, the H11 filter in 2S description is also a HEPA filter, but I think Xiaomi should be more upfront about it. Also, you need to change the HEPA filter in every 3 to 6 months, depending on the use. The Mi Home app which you use with the 2S shows you the remaining filter life in percentage, so you can conveniently replace your filters on time. I have been using the 2S extensively in home and office for 12 hours every day for the past one month. And the app is showing me that 90% filter is still remaining. That's pretty cool. Now you don't get HEPA filters in air conditioners or air coolers. So if you desire to breathe cleaner air, you will have to go for air purifier. Moving on, the next most important buying decision are the CADR values. When you search for air purifiers online, the CADR value is the first thing that you will notice. Like I said earlier, it refers to how much clean air the purifier can pump out in one hour. So higher the CADR value, faster it will be in pumping out cleaner air. And also air purifiers with higher CADR are more suitable for bigger rooms. For example, this 2S has a delivery rate of 310 cubic meter per hour which means it's suitable for a room size of 250 square feet. I have used the 2S in my living room, which is about the same size and it brought down the pollution from 200 to 60 in less than one hour. Xiaomi claims the 2S can work up to 420 square feet, but I feel don't go for 2S if you're planning to use it for a larger area. Check out other purifiers with higher CADR value like Samsung AX7000. It has a CADR value of 773 cubic meter per hour, which is more than double of 2S and can easily clean the area of 1000 square feet. And lastly, the noise level, which I feel should be an equally important factor when buying a purifier. You can only appreciate a silent fan once you have used a noisy air purifier. Actually, I am surprised not many purifiers are mentioning the decibel information online. Even Xiaomi didn't mention it online or in the user manual. Talking about 2S, it's extremely silent in night mode and produces manageable noise at 50% fan speed. But at full blast, the noise is more than I can take, so I reckon some people may find it loud, especially at night. Now don't get me wrong guys, I really like this 2S and the fan noise at full blast is still a very small problem compared to the health benefits it offers. 
plus you can always reduce the fan speed to 70% and it works just as fine. So finally, should you buy this next gen Mi air purifier? And well, in my opinion, definitely. It's lightweight, works for the most part and has a seamless integration with the Mi Home app which lets you remotely control it from anywhere in the house. And if that's not enough, you can always connect it with Google Assistant or Echo Dot. Of course, there's always room for improvements as well. For example, the auto mode in this 2S purifier goes a bit soft against the pollution in general. And like I said before, Xiaomi should also work in reducing the noise levels as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This was my experience of using this 2S purifier from Xiaomi. Let me know if you guys are going to buy it or not in the comment section below. As always, it's been our signing off. I will see you in the next one.